Forbes at 11 a.m. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah French. A Bristol man is in stable condition this morning after being shot by police officers outside a Jacob Street home when he refused to put down his weapon. But what caused the altercation and why were police called to the residence? Fox Connecticut's Tom Lewis is live in Bristol with all the details. Tom. Sarah, there are a lot of questions about what exactly unfolded on Jacob Street in Bristol this morning. We do know that the police got a 911 call around 2 o'clock this morning reporting a possible home invasion. When they arrived, they did find a man inside the home. They could see through the window that he had a gun. They tried to establish communication with that person. That failed. Then the suspect came out of the house. Police told him to drop that rifle. He refused to do so. And that's when two Bristol police officers opened fire. Bristol police responded to the home on Jacob Street after a frantic 911 call from somebody inside the house saying someone was trying to break in. When they arrived, they noticed a man inside brandishing a long rifle. Officers attempted to make contact with the person inside the house again uh, with the telephone. Uh, there was no answer. Uh, they evacuated the nearby residents. Uh, a short time later, as the emergency response team was, uh, was setting up their perimeter, uh, the male uh, exited the home armed with a long gun. Police say the man then charged the officers outside the home, waving the rifle as the SWAT team took their positions. He was ordered to drop the weapon. He refused to obey verbal orders from the Bristol officers to, to disarm and uh, causing the officers to discharge their, uh, their firearms uh, at the suspect uh, as he continued to advance at the officers. I heard a flash bang from outside and I heard screaming and yelling, get down, get down. I went outside. And he was down on the ground. Police searched the home for the so-called home invader, but there was no evidence that a break-in ever occurred. And now police are investigating the possibility that the suspect himself may have made those frantic 911 calls. Police are not releasing the name of the suspect or the two officers that opened fire on that suspect. It is protocol for a state police investigation to continue as well as an internal investigation. That is being done here at the Bristol Police Department. We did talk to neighbors to say that person inside may have been partying, may have been drinking inside. Was there a home invasion? Police say they didn't find any evidence of that. They say they will continue to investigate. Meanwhile, the suspect is in serious but stable condition at St. Mary's Hospital in Waterbury. Reporting live in Bristol this morning, Tom Lewis. Fox, Connecticut. Thanks, Tom. A person has died this morning after being struck and killed by an Amtrak train in Hartford.